Should be a pretty lit matchup. That should be. The supports oh, are on the oh. other side. This is a three-pronged attack from Philly. You can see That's the supports right. and the tanks on the opposite side. Well, New York trying to get onto the supports right now. Frankie, meanwhile, D-Mex, Mecco, Eco, or EQO taken down by Mano here. Braggy out already, so New York Excelsior finding some success early on in this attack. There's a D-Mech onto Poco, and Savio will be cleaning up in the back lines. This might be a very fast point day for NYXL. Yeah, see the reflection there on the bio grenade too. And yep. New York, that was a beautiful execution. We keep praising them for how well they set up and then execute these plays. That time, it was both DPS on the far side, tanks on the low ground. And what they did was that they're going to use the uh, Sound barrier now, Libero, boop back by Neptuno, still getting in there for the kill on the day fly. Gotta watch out for that Lucio though, now he's got the health again and Neptuno has none. New York nearly has this already. Philadelphia just trying to delay as long as they can, but even sending people one at a time on the card is not enough. For the payload rather, and New York takes it with nearly four minutes in the time bank. More progress on to this point, New York scrambling to try to keep this one alive and I don't know if the, uh, yeah, I don't know if Jonah can win that one. That's a lot of help to burn through. I mean, still the stall has been about a minute and a half right now for New York. They've been at a disadvantage this entire time, but they haven't actually given up the cap until right now. There you have 35, lots of ultimates used, but they maintain that nano boost. Strong pulse bomb comes up. Didn't quite get the D-Mech. Meanwhile, EQO, now the Dragon Blade happens. And Arco, oh, we can't get back to the one. supports. So close, but that is a lot of people down for Philly, or for uh, New York, rather. It's all they may be able to take now. this one right it's here. only Sam will be on the point. Everyone else is respawning, but they don't have much wiggle room. Now oh, that's a sound barrier. Should close out the fight. So yeah, send people in 1v1, but no, they can't keep someone on the point. So 151 left in the clock for Philly. Well, we'll have to re-engage again in a moment. Trying to keep Jonak alive. Philadelphia Fusion moving towards that first stick, but Jonak with a big pick on the Carpe Frank. He responds, as does Poco. Save will be backed up quite a bit, and Philadelphia crushing this fight right now. Poco gets the kill, so they are going to drag the, the healers off the point, push them away, and destroy that front line. So Philadelphia looks like they will be getting a third point here. 30 seconds more on the clock and a chance to grab four points. Send us even deeper into this Volskaya. That's right. Well, now it's time to take that momentum and use it. From Jonak, just a delay. Going to be into overtime after the Zenyatta ultimate's over. Now EQO waiting for it. Pulls out the Dragon Blade. Got the sound barrier to keep himself healthy. And Philadelphia winning a pretty resounding team fight. But again, the response will be coming in. Mano is here. He's still in the primal rage. Arc on the point, and that'll be EQO falling. Yeah, that's right. New York trying to just push Philly off the point again in overtime. That bar is going to drop faster and faster. Poco, D-Mech, Frankie takes his turn to come in, trying to regroup as best they can. Carpe darting around the outside of the fight, needs to get to that health pack, has to back away, and they can't quite do it. So it's going to be three points. Has to use that recall early. Libero cuts down EQO. Mano falls though, and now the Transcendence comes in from Fusion. They're gonna try to fight it on the point a little bit later, Zen Ultimate from NYXL right now. Save will be going in. Really would love to have a pulse bomb about now. Self destruct. Poco can't get back in the mech. That could be devastating. Although NYXL without their Zenyatta right now, no Jonas. Dayfly just got Nano boosted. In. That's right, yeah, that doesn't help too much. Dayfly, but there's the Zenyatta, but there's only so much you can do. He killed Libero during the Dragon Blade. <laughs> I All guess right. you can't argue with that, Doa. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, he put it to use. I respect that. Sound barrier from Ark, wow. New York just getting desperate here, man, to clean off the last members of Philly off this point. Now, they had to use everything, though. Oh, so even kidding. though the Nano boost, looked a bit rough. It does actually end up having value, forcing them to use the sound barrier. Once again, self-destruct getting used. Transcendence for Jonak, that's a ma that's a uh, pulse bomb. Meanwhile, Libero comes in. He's getting a lot with that Dragon Blade right now. On the point, gets two already. Push back, gets the health pack though, and it's all New York. Looks like they might it's be able to take dragging. it right here. That is it. And NYXL comes in, and finally a Dragon Blade comes together for Libero. Carpe in a little bit of trouble here, cornered. One more rocket. Oh, it doesn't quite get the direction he was looking for. Neptuno, though, gets the kill onto Jonak. Yeah, Poco. Philadelphia. Poco just harassing Whoa. Libero, trying to keep him out of the sky. 
That is the plan. And he's still got the tanks here onto the point. Libero will fall to Eco. Yeah, that's a lot of defense matrix eating most of that barrage and the rest of the damage not enough to deal with the tanks. Mano just trying to delay as long as he can. He's nearly got Fraggy actually, but yeah, just stay on the point. Yeah, Poco though, nailing Save LB as he's trying to exit and rejoin his teammates. So now you'd be an advantage here at Chonak taking out Poco may turn this in the favor of the XL. Well, this has been a pretty amazing stall, actually. By 99 for New York right now. We're into OT. They fly down early on. Mecco trying to defend as best he can. They've got Philly Dolphy Fusion a little bit split there. And yeah, no more supports, no more healing for Philly. And they are in big, big trouble. That coming. should be about it, yeah. Craggy's gonna there fall, go. and that's gonna be the last one on the point. Dayfly cannot get there. Yeah, New York Excelsior taking round number one. Nearly double Philadelphia right now. EQO very low. Oh, and Jonah oh, just him before down. the sound barrier. Out of the air, that's right. He misses the shield from Neptuno. And now Philly scrambling a little bit here. They do get Mono, though, so the good start. Oh, look at that. They've got New York backed up into the corner, but Mecco right there to turn it around. Yeah, who's going to deal with Libero, though? He is free firing rockets into the point with Mecco down. Doesn't matter. Mono already dead. They don't. Mecco popped out of the mech, taken out as well. He's not going to live. There we go. Over time, ticking. Arc dives in to try to delay. He's got Mano there as well with the primal range. Mano with an opportunity now to make a big play. But the sound barrier comes in from Neptuno one more time. Dayfly grabs a kill, and I think that's it for New York. No, they get back there one more time, and overtime ticks too fast. And we are tied up here on Nepal. Great job exploiting Zero on his own. Kind of trapped between a few members of Philly, but Mako comes in with a big play again on that D.Va to save his DPS. Now the self-destruct coming in. Libero dodging that one. Echo did get the kill in the Dayfly as well, but Carpe not gonna let Libero get anything else accomplished in this fight. New York trying to flip this one back again. Philadelphia did take it for the moment. Looks like they may just barely get it back here. Yeah, nice stall though. Fraggy hiding and waiting. Here coming out on top here. That's gonna be a D-Mech onto Poco. Gonna go ahead and use that self-destruct. Can they get it before he remakes? Yes, they can. Mecca with another kill there. And the respawns can't get there fast enough. That's going to be New York Excelsior winning a second close map in a row. This is he retreats back into the hotel. That was the idea. They wanted to force him back down. Now the down. He gets sniped out by Sabiel. Uh -oh. Sabiel also takes out Neptuno. Yeah, and Libero just giving chase. He's got that scatter. Oh, doesn't need to use it. And it looks like they may be able to get a kill here as they go up, and no, they don't even need it. That's gonna be point A. It's so hard to defend against that with the composition yep. that Philadelphia used. Not only are you trying to cover for two court on him, and now Libero just, oh, that's not something you wanna turn around and see. Oh boy. Unfortunately, Dylan, it's just too late. They lost too many members yep. before executing the combo, and they only got one because the Transcendent saved Jonak while he was in the Graviton. Destruct may be time pretty soon here as they try to finish this one up. Oh, Carpe does win the uh, duel with the Widowmaker on the Savio D. New York losing a few people here and there. They are, but they don't get anything out of the self-destruct. Mecco trying to make this worse. Wants to kill the support. Transcendence down for New York. Yeah, that's right. Keeping everybody alive. Now Carpe and Dayfly, the only ones on the point, but they should be able to land long enough. Maybe, maybe for the response to come in. Dayfly down. Can they stop them? No! And New York gets there. Uh, Philadelphia Fusion as Carpe falls back. But it's orange all over the point right now. And I don't know if New York can do a lot to stop this. That is a, such a bold play from Carpe. You love to see playmaking ability like that. Yeah. Supports are trying not to get picked off as they walk past. The end of point B for Philly. They're so close, but so far with the amount of people New York has there. But now no tanks. They cut through New York in the end, and that'll finally be point B, but only about two minutes for Philadelphia to push this the rest of the way. Maybe with the kills Eco's getting, they can get the payload bar. Not getting it, oh, nearly pooped off the edge. Doesn't matter though, he's gonna get cut down almost instantly by Poco, and whoa, Philly winning this team fight pretty, pretty handily. These respawns. I think Eko's gonna deal with these uh, pretty, pretty well. Yep, that's gonna be it. Philadelphia finishes it. Not quite as much time in the time bank, but they get the job done. Yeah, Carpe now on the Hanzo. Janice down already, EQO. Maybe with a hook there to bring him in. New York missing one of their tanks at the moment. 
One tick already for Philadelphia Fusion. Carpe untouched here as he swapped over to that hand. So now he has to watch out for Sabiel B. Sabiel B trying to duck and weave, but the rest of his team getting taken out so quickly. Oh, no. Quick take him down with the help of the rest of the team. Now the rip tire coming in. Libero, if he can push people off, he can end it right there. They get Neptuno. New York looking like they don't want to let this payload move very far at all. Whoa, big pulse bomb comes in on the EQO overtime again, expiring so quickly. You can't leave the payload, not even for an instant. Self-destruct comes in. Goodbye, Poco, and goodbye, push for Philadelphia. They took point A, which is really important. Uh, a Reinhardt on the side of New York, so you could take the point. All right, Jonak down. That's a good start for Philadelphia, but they got to keep the momentum up. And that's going to be tough with Dayfly out of the way again. You just can't do anything against this Fara Libero having a field day here. And Fraggy get bounced towards the members of New York, trying to get into that hotel, will escape and try and charge out. You have to try to back up. You have to try to get yourself in a position now to fight that defense right at the choke here because you're not going to be able to stop New York from taking point A. And now they still have a min uh, two and a half minutes, actually. Dude, trying to get in the back lines there. There's a Coalescence. Takes on Neptuno anyway. Barrage right onto Dayfly. Oh, why not, though? A little bit of a defensive matrix sucks up some of that ultimate, but the DMAC comes in on the Poco anyway, then the delete as well. So Libero gets three if you include the DMAC, and that may end not just the map, but also the series. New York gonna take this one with three maps, one already. Defense, I don't know. Coalescence coming from New York now, but there's the EMP from EQO. Can he take advantage of it? The team needs to follow this one up again. Mecco gonna get hacked. They can see he's got the ultimate. Can't use it because of the hack, though. And New York still finding the kills in this fight anyway. And that was a good job by Jonax to preempt the EMP. No Mono's kidding. Just free flanking on them right now. Yeah, that's right. Philadelphia has to use the sound barrier. Meanwhile, Mono still goes back, takes down Dayfly as well. Finally getting back to the payload, but he's already done plenty of work there, and Sabi will be ready to pick up any slack that's remaining, and that's going to be committing to this fight in a big way. Mono jetting his way to freedom, he hopes, and a transcendence from Jonak. They're going to come back in again, but EQO is still on the payload. It's going to be very tough to dislodge him. Although, with all those kills coming in, maybe they can. Libero looking for a bit more no, charges no, right no, into the no, call. No, I would do that. No, you do not <laughs> want to go into that, man. That is a big beam of death. Libero, Libero, Libero. EQO can't survive, though. Now, Fraggy bit on his own. self destruct comes in. Nobody's two the kills the self for the finisher. That's right. And Frankie forced to use a primal rage as well. Carpe looking for victims. Oh, but no. Mano comes in, gets flashbanged immediately. Carpe has to retreat. But Frankie gets a kill into Ark in the meanwhile. Philadelphia Fusion putting themselves on track to take point A here. Excellent primal rage from Fraggy. Got into the corridor with both of the XL supports and killed Jonak and Ark. There it is. Hack on the two. Only Poco and EQO, though. That's not going to be enough. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, they didn't have a lot of people from New York there to really take advantage of that EMP. So that's going to be point B taken for Philly. And they do have two minutes left. Oh, but lower still is Libero. They're trying to hold, and now it's just about the scramble with the response, but that is going to be a big sound barrier from Ark. He got a few people with that one, but Philadelphia is still coming in with a couple kills. Mano's here on the May just to delay as much as he can. Libero wants to play the road on. Can he even get to the point in time? He's going to get stunned. Well, he still makes like, it. Can they get it done before overtime? That's the question here. There goes Libero. Three seconds left. Can they get it there? Yes, it can. Oh, oh no. Well, boop, Mecco off. So a minute now with this. We're really re-engaging here. And that boost onto the Winston. Another support down, but Libero also taken out. Dayfly will be resurrected. Yeah, great res from Neptuno. Finding the time to go in there and bring his Zenyatta back. That could be crucial here as Philadelphia continues to push forward. They have won this fight. Oh, that was that was really good from Philadelphia. Yeah, they waited for the EMP. The EMP only hit the tank line of the fusion, and they. Only oh, but Samuel B comes in, takes out EQO. Philadelphia, they gotta stay on the payload right now. Fraggy, he manages to find a few victims here with this primal rage. Now going deep to try to handle the supports for NYXL. Who's on the payload? That's the question here. Jonak coming back Poco in. They've got die. Poco, but there's the DMEC with that uh, that uh, pulse bomb rather. QO falls, it's so close. Goodbye, Poco. Neptuno there. 
they get Carpe and that is it. So a big deal for for uh, Philadelphia Fusion to take point A. Carpe up on the high ground. It's all about finishing him off. Carpe turns around. Mano falls early. That could be it. They need Mano there. Without that Winston, New York can have a very tough time. They're going to go into the Transcendence, but Dayfly has his as well. There goes Libero. Dead eye from Carpe now. Can he get a kill? No, they get out of range, but doesn't matter. He can't get kills with it because everyone on New York is dead. Overtime expires, and Philadelphia Fusion will at least come away with a map win here on Route 66. Excellent map from both of these teams. Philadelphia finding the answer. A lot of it was Carpe having a star level performance on the McCree. Go to our website at actionesports.com to stay up to date on the latest matches, highlights, and more from scores, match history, and specific game info. We've got you covered for all things Overwatch Esports. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our channel for more action packed content. Also, like and share this video and click the subscribe button to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.